From wellness journeys to dreams of looking like a mannequin, there's just something about the stars of 90 Day Fiancé and their passion for drastic changes. A lot has happened in Colt Johnson's life since his season 6 debut on 90 Day Fiancé. The reality TV star changed wives, lost weight, and suffered a major accident, among other things. After his short-lived but memorable marriage to Larissa Dos Santos Lima, which was generously peppered with rough patches, Colt directed all his affections toward Vanessa Guerra, and the couple eloped. Unsurprisingly for fans, Colt and Vanessa's relationship ran out of road soon enough, and the reason had a lot to do with Colt's mother and housemate, Debbie. In an appearance on The Single Life in early 2022, the couple revealed they had separated. Regarding their split, Colt expressed that Debbie was unable to properly communicate her feelings about the relationship. In an interview with Us Weekly, Colt claimed to have grown a lot since first joining the TLC family. Over the years, his following has ballooned, partially due to his presence on the adult site OnlyFans, where he earned a little side cash when the pandemic hit. A 2023 Instagram update from Vanessa revealed that Colt had sustained injuries that bound him to a wheelchair and required multiple rounds of surgeries. Without getting into too many details, Vanessa mentioned that the accident involved filming on a trampoline. The pair seem to be back together, though it is unclear whether or not they are intent on rejoining the reality series. Fans of TLC's flagship 90 Day Fiancé were immediately taken with Yara Zaya, who rose to fame in the show's eighth season. Her pairing with Jovi Dufresne resulted in marriage and a child named Myla. While her romantic storyline and family life are what most viewers know her for, Yara has established herself beyond the worlds of reality TV and domesticity. The reality star also runs an apparel business and a cosmetics line called Bougie. The beauty icon has also been vocal about her support of cosmetic surgery, admitting to getting her nose and lips altered. Yes, you need to love yourself the way you are, but if you can't accept something, you, it's okay to change it. Yara was keenly tuned in to the crisis in her home country of Ukraine during the Russian aggression that began in 2022. Along with her husband, she reportedly undertook charity efforts by helping Ukrainian refugees who were streaming into their home state of Louisiana. Talking to Newsweek, the duo revealed that several of Yara's relatives were in Ukraine as war hung over the country. In addition to the household tension brought on by the conflict in Yara's homeland, she and Jovi are also experiencing contention over whether or not they should have a second child. A near legend in meme circuits, Edward Allen Brown, or Big Ed, is among the TLC family's most famous faces. To say that his stint with 90 Day Fiancé has been dramatic would be a gross understatement. Between keeping audiences hooked with his inflammable personality and his chaotic relationship with Rosemarie, Rose Vega, Ed remained firm on his position as a controversial participant on the reality show. After Rose walked out on Ed, who the internet contended was constantly disrespectful to her, he moved on to another paramour, Elizabeth Woods. The two got engaged in 2021. The San Diego native lives with a health condition known as clopel foul syndrome, which affects the growth of bones, thereby restricting movement around the neck. While he is a distinct presence on reality TV, Ed expressed that his appearance has attracted much negative attention. He told News 24, "...people have body shamed and bullied me to the point where it has made me cry." Despite the struggles, Brown has adopted a healthier lifestyle in recent years. He has dropped several pounds, and his Instagram is nothing short of a fitness journal, as he documents his transformation into a fit, muscled specimen. Angela Deem is one of the most intriguing characters to have ever appeared on 90 Day Fiancé. Since 2018, when she first catapulted to reality TV fame, Angela has managed to keep the public interested in her life both on and off screen. Her romance with Michael was a high point for fans of the reality series, though the question of their marriage was initially shrouded in confusion. Not only was it later confirmed that the couple had indeed tied the knot, but Angela revealed in a 2023 tell-all episode that she was already considering a divorce. While she charges her Nigerian husband with allegations of cheating, she even threw a cake at him in anger, Angela hasn't stayed away from starting small fires herself. A video she shared to commemorate Tina Turner in 2023 was heavily called out by viewers, who lambasted Angela for morphing herself into the music legend. Since her time on the show, the television personality has splurged on multiple beauty enhancement procedures, including Botox and breast augmentation. Angela's reality TV fame has opened up many financial avenues for her, including several brand partnerships, which she promotes on social media. Without question, Larissa Dos Santos Lima has had one of the most tumultuous stints on TLC's 90 Day Fiancé. 
from getting into domestic altercations with ex-husband Colt Johnson to being fired by the network over her participation in an adult livestream in 2020, the Brazilian star has a ton of controversy attached to her name. Through her conflict-ridden track record, Larissa underwent a deluge of physical changes, turning to plastic surgery and other cosmetic procedures. The reality TV alum has been open with fans about her treatments on social media. Larissa's thousand-strong following aren't the only ones to be amazed by her transformation. Her ex-partner Colt told Us Weekly that he was surprised by how often she had cosmetic work done, and that he was unaware that this was an aspiration of hers while they were married. When I look like hair, I always stop on this one. the surgery. I want to have this belly. Though the former couple is estranged, fans were delightfully shocked to see Larissa hanging out with Colt's mother Debbie in 2023, despite their notoriously fraught relationship during her time on the show. While she offered no confirmation, Larissa did hint at a return to 90 Day Fiancé the same year in a YouTube video, prompting theories about her reunion with Debbie. Anfisa R. Kipchenko may be long past the height of her 90 Day Fiancé glory, but the reality TV star has since swerved into other avenues to keep life exciting. The most noticeable transformation has been physical, with Anfisa finding her ground as a fitness expert, flaunting killer abs and muscles. Anfisa's commitment to her physique landed her several wins at a bodybuilding competition in Las Vegas in 2019, three years after fans first saw her on TLC. As Fox News reported, many netizens were critical of Anfisa's decision to bulk up, though it seems like the influencer doesn't let negativity bring her down. Over 800,000 followers have tuned into her journey on Instagram, where she gives insight into her workout routines and sportswear collaborations. After three years of marriage to George Nava, her love interest from 90 Day Fiancé, Anfisa parted ways with him in 2020. A large part of her on-screen dynamic with George made it seem that she relied on him for money. But the model actually revealed in the comment section of a social media post that she'd been providing financially for herself and her ex-husband for over a year while George was in prison for marijuana possession. Near the end of her relationship with George, Anfisa also confirmed that she had a new love interest, Leo Asaf. In the meantime, the Russian model also obtained a business degree from the University of California, graduating in 2022 with top honors, according to Instagram. One half of reality TV's favorite twins, Darcy Silva was an instant hit when she debuted on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days in 2017. In fact, her time on the TLC show proved to be just a launching pad for the budding star, whose massive popularity propelled her into her own TLC show, Darcy and Stacey. While her on-air romance with Jesse Meester didn't work out successfully, the mother of two sought to fulfill her love life in her namesake spinoff, while simultaneously giving her sister Stacey and their family more screen time. Darcy told Entertainment Weekly in 2020, I am at a stage in my life where I am happy with my life, and I'm staying strong for me and my daughters and my family. Darcy and her sister have been open about having undergone multiple rounds of nearly identical physical enhancement surgeries, including breast work and alterations to their lips and noses. So it's going to take more time to heal. Just be very gentle, like when you put your creams on yeah. and stuff like that. Though the pair have to endure online trolls targeting what seems to be a never-ending routine of cosmetic operations, Darcy sees their twin transitions in an emotional light. She told ET Online that sharing the process with her sister has brought them closer together. Rebecca Parrott is thriving after becoming a household name, with a more than memorable appearance on TLC. Her relationship with Ziad Hakimi got off to a rocky start on 90 Day Fiancé, as Rebecca was actually still married when their time on the show began. However, updates to her social media suggest that things seem to be progressing happily for the couple these days. Rebecca and her younger partner have been going strong for three years, and the couple even tied the knot in 2020. Rebecca told Brides, "...life since we've married has been incredible. We have fun every day, and we really are best friends." A former private investigator who later moved her skills to the hospitality industry, Rebecca built up a reputation as a bit of a control freak on the show, which kept public opinion about her divided. Following her reality TV stint, Rebecca revamped her appearance, opting for chic hairstyles and glam makeup, which she shares with fans across her various social media channels. Rebecca also went public with her decision to undergo fat reduction surgery, targeting areas of her body that she was uncomfortable with. Rebecca told liposuction provider Sono Bello, "...I love being curvy, but lately I'm just not happy with the way I look. I just want a better version of myself." 